guys because this is a foundation routine i'm going to start off first with my skin my skin is nowhere close to perfect so i have to do plenty color correcting i guess so let's just get straight into the video the first thing i'm going to start with is my moisturizer and as you know the moisturizer I use is the TM Essentials Moisturizer. If you don't know it, you've not been watching my video, so I advise you to please um, click some links in the description box below to go binge watch my videos. So, as I said earlier, the moisturizer I'll be using today is the TM Essentials Luminous Face Moisturizer. And I'm going to use this to moisturize the whole of my face. I take that much and I go in. You can decide to use a brush. I prefer using my hands because one, they are clean and that is because I washed them. So make sure to wash your hands before putting them on your face. So you can prefer to use a brush or your hands, but I don't like using brushes because I feel like it drenches some of my products so using my bare hand i get to apply everything on my face everything gets to be on my skin then after that i go in with my maria bedasco spray you can decide to do this before or after the moisturizer but i do that after the moisturizer and it really works for me so So I just drench my face and my face becomes like this and I let it dry for about two minutes my skin is dried and after that I go in with the TM essentials mattifying face primer this is like literally one of the primers I really really trust and it has worked for me so this is the primer I go in with I apply this on my forehead because this is an area where I tend to get really, really oily as the time goes by. And my nose area also. I also get oily at this point. So basically apply the primers where you know you really, really get oily. I get oily around my mouth too, oily and sweaty around my mouth, so I'm applying it here. And guys, the beautiful part about this product is that they are really, really, really affordable. I promise you, if you're in Nigeria or I think they deliver outside Nigeria too, it's just 2,500 naira. I'm hyping it because I like it. So... For the proper foundation routine let's get started i go in with this black opal stick foundation if you have not gotten your hands on this black opal stick foundation like hey <laughs> you've not arrived you need to get your hands on this black opal stick foundation because it is amazing so i'm going to use this to color correct i'm using the shade carob I think I need more of this but this is the only one I have I don't know why I have been sleeping on it and I'm going to use that to apply everywhere I have dark spots or hyper pigmentations that's what I'm going to use this for so first of all I have like really bad hyper pigmentation around my lip area I have around this side I'm going to zoom in the camera so you all can see so I'm going to use that to cover it up. So taking it, <coughs> I'm not going to apply it like this. Here also. And it just covers it up just with one touch.
here on my forehead area kind of my nose and I'm taking a real technique brush this is like an old real technique brush if you if you make up lover you must know this brush and I'm not going to use that to blend everything out can you see this just blend it in like it is so beautiful like so beautiful and so perfect But obviously I used that to color correct that's why you can see that my face is kind of darker than my body right now but don't worry we're going to fix it next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a liquid highlight and I'll be using today is the Glee Milani Mills Hollywood highlighter I have had this for years and I see Goli Bay Hub use it and I'm like I have this stuff let me go and bring it out from where I dropped it and so I have brought it out from where I dropped it and today I'm going to be using this in this video. It's a really really good one. I'm just going to put that at the back of my hand. I'm just going to apply it to my face with a brush. I'm using a Mary Kay flat brush and I'm just going to apply it on my face. Blind your magic. The shade I'm using for the Glee Milan and Mills is in the shade Rose Gold. It is mad. <laughs> See, guys, now we have a glowy skin. But moving on to foundation. So basically I just prepped my skin and this is all I do to prep my skin very simple very easy so for our foundation today for my everyday full coverage bit today I'm going to use my Milani conceal and perfect like a three-day way but now I have gone to pick it up from my drop as you can see it's almost finished but we move so this foundation really has a very full coverage so I'm not going to put too much I'm just going to put a little bit and a little bit really goes a long way taking my real technique foundation brush I really went to bring all these brushes from like I literally washed my brushes and I brought all of them out I'm just going to use that to blend the foundation into my skin And the shade I use for the Milani foundation is in the shade 11A. 11A Nutmeg for Milani foundation. For your forehead, try as much as possible not to put too much product on your forehead area. For people like me, I sweat a lot. So that forehead area and plenty product is a no, no. Like now, I have added too much product, so I'm just going to take out some just so that everything blends well and the makeup doesn't become a mess. I'm going to use my hand to take it out, and I'm just going to blend the remaining. So, guys, once I'm done blending, I go in with a beauty blender and I use that to just go over everything that 
personally i feel brush application is the best using a brush to apply your makeup is the best but just make sure you wash it every single day the reason why sometimes i use beauty blenders is because beauty blenders are really easy to wash brushes they're just too much work so wash that's the only reason aside that using a brush is perfect So this is an up close view of my face after I have applied my foundation. As you can see, it's just very, very perfect. So the next step is the highlighting step. I'm going to be my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 13 and I'm going to use that to highlight my face. So if you have a Juvia's Place concealer, be sure to shake it very well before you apply it. This concealer also gives very full coverage. So I'm just going to apply that. And I'm going to go in with this part of my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend. that concealer to go right into my hairline when I get to the edges of my eyes or the corners of my eyes I just blend I just bend a little bit now my face is like highlighted like really highlighted but don't worry we're going to contour the face to give it some different so this line here, we're going to just use the back of the beauty blender like we did earlier after applying the foundation and we're just going to blend around the hairline so we don't get makeup products in our hair. Even though some products are already inside the hair. For my liquid contour, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 5 to contour my face. This shade is really really dark so it needs to also go a long way. So I'm just going to put three dots first and here I'm also going to just put three dots. I'm also going to put dots here at the corners of my nose or the sides of my or the sides of my nose to make it really easy. But this shade is really really dark so please be careful if you have this so using the brush i used in the beginning i'm just going to use that to blend my contour in so i'm going in an upward motion like this And I'm not pressing really hard on my skin. I'm just going upwards. Like that. Guys, can you see the definition? Please tell me you can see this definition. I'm going with my beauty blender I used in highlighting. I'm going to use that to blend the highlights and contour shades so they don't end up just being one straight hash line please excuse all the noise you're hearing and you'll be hearing in this video so going in with a brush like this i'm going to use this to blend my nose
going back with my beauty blender i'm just going to blend just so once again there are no harsh lines between the highlights and the contour there's no just one harsh line between them and i haven't even highlighted my nose with a concealer or have i okay i think i have okay. so we are done with all the cream the la cream we're done with all the creamy stuff we're going in with powdery stuff right now in a sasha butter coke setting powder I'm going to use that to set my face, set the highlighted point of my face. So I'm using a brush also to do that and I'm just going to tap and dust off the excess. I'm going to use that to set under my eyes. So after setting my face with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, I'm going in with the ABH contour kit and I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade right here to set my contour. So once again, everywhere I contoured, I'm going to set. But just going lightly, light hand, remember. So I'm just using the tip of the brush to set my nose contour area. So guys, I went ahead and I popped on some lashes. I did my brows and I did my leaves. And this is my finished look. I hope you like it. Please, once again, make sure to subscribe like my video give this video a very big thumbs up and yeah binge watch my videos and i'll see you all in my next video bye